In today's news, Jim Keller resigns from Intel after just two short years of being part of the company. His official position was that of the vice president of the company. To give you some perspective, Jim Keller was heavily involved into the AMD Zen architecture and we all know how that ended up selling. The reason given by Mr. Keller was quite ambiguous to say the least. The official press release from Intel says that Jim Keller left the company, quote, due to personal reasons. What does this tell us? Well, not that much to be completely honest, and it should really stay this way. If Mr. Keller decided that he needs to change his employer, then more power to him, especially since he is a highly regarded engineer within the industry. This, however, puts Intel as a company in an even more difficult position on the market, given the latest comparisons in terms of performance between Intel and the new AMD CPUs. In other news, Cyberpunk 2077 has been delayed again, now placing the game release around the same release of both next generation consoles from Sony and Microsoft. So not really a surprise as CD Projekt Red is a company that has to generate revenue and thus things like this are expected to happen. Do I agree with such decisions? Not really. But it is not up to me and if this delay helps the studio iron out some bugs and add more polish to the game, then we can agree on this. This also, I hope, will dwindle some of the hype that has been building around this game since the very second it was announced. Because in my honest opinion, it has reached a point where no game will really live up to the expectations. A similar situation like how the Half-Life series ended up being. Moving on, AMD decided to include as a bundle the game Horizon Zero Dawn with certain Ryzen CPUs. The processors that will benefit from this offer are the following. Ryzen 5 3600 and the 3600X variant, Ryzen 7 3700X, Ryzen 7 3800X, Ryzen 9 3900X and the almighty Ryzen 9 3950X. It is also worth noting here that the game version offered is the complete edition, which means one simple thing, that you will get the game plus all the DLCs that have been released. And all of this will happen via a single key that is redeemable on Steam. As for the availability of this offer, at the present time the first retailers included are Overclockers UK and Chill Blast. In my opinion, these types of offers are a welcomed addition to the Ryzen lineup of CPUs, especially since these new processors are highly regarded for their performance both in games and in workflow. And finally, after the release of its Chromium-based Edge browser, Microsoft is planning the implementation of an update to integrate the new Edge browser as the default browser in all Windows 10 builds and installations. The update in question is called 20H2, which basically means second half of 2020. While I had no issues using the older Edge browser, the Chromium-based Edge is nothing to frown at. It is very fast and compatible with most, if not all, web pages. Based on rough statistics, this new variant of Edge has surpassed Mozilla's Firefox and is close behind in Google's own Chrome browser in terms of user popularity. However, it remains to be seen how this update will change the web browser market, especially since there are many users that do not want to have to use the default browser found in Windows. And that's it for this week's news. I will try to get these new segments published faster and in between each review. In the meantime, you can consider subscribing for more and also you can support the channel and my work with the links found in the description below.